what's up you guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we will be testing out the new NARS soft matte advanced perfecting powder so I did pick mine up in the shade Bay if you go on Sephora and I believe I'm sure if you order from NARS website they will have the description and usually to it it told me based on what shade foundation that I use in NARS that I would be the shade Bay. So there are not many, there's not a lot of options with this powder and that is because it is pretty much like a pressed finishing powder, not a foundation powder. So you can use this to obviously set your, you know, obviously your face or I'm going to personally use it to set my T-zone. So again, this is the shade Bay. We will be testing this out. Also, I did pick up one of the Too Faced um, new blushes. I did get Candy Clouds, so which is that very pretty bubblegum pink. And this is what it looks like here. I will say these are definitely hard to open um, with the packaging. It's very cute, but you have to really get your nail under there to open it. But very pretty. We are going to use this today on camera and that is pretty much it as far as new products you guys i do have a lot of stuff coming from ulta and sephora so stay tuned for a upcoming haul and that's it don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you are going to pick up this new powder how you feel about it and also chime in as well regarding the two faced blush and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's review so what I'm doing is prepping the skin I am using this hard candy sheer envy hydrating primer this is a 12 hour makeup grip primer which plumps moisturizes and perfects um, this in theory is pretty much their version of the Milk Hydro Grip so I wanted to do that. This is the only hydrating primer that I think I have and then in my T-zone I am going to go ahead and use my Cali Ray Primer um, because this is my pore, you know, large pore area, um, the area where I obviously tend to get the most oily. So we are going to add that and I'm just going to let the primers sit for a minute and then we'll come back and start with foundation. So because this powder is a part of the soft matte line, we are going to go in with the NARS soft matte foundation and I do have mine in the shade Syracuse, which is here. So I believe it was on either NARS or um, Trend Moods page when they first posted it showed based on whatever shade foundation you use it kind of explained what powder what color powder you should get so that is what that is the reason why I picked up this uh, shade in particular so let's go ahead and blend this out and then because this is a NARS product after we're gonna go in with the NARS um, I think it's like their radiant concealer in the shade ginger
All right, so now going in with the NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. Again, this retails for $36. I did pick mine up in the shade Bay. And to add that onto the face, I'm going to use my Morphe M554 brush. This does come in eight different shades. Again, based on whatever shade foundation that you use in the NARS Soft Matte line, it does tell you which shade to use. So this is more of a pressed, um, it is a pressed powder. It says matte finish and natural finish. You could definitely see the difference from when I applied it. Um, as you can see here, so this side has it, this side doesn't. I definitely noticed the difference. Uh, it says that this is best for oily skin, long wearing. It is a multi-purpose skin perfecting powder that blurs imperfections, smooths the look of skin, and sets makeup for up to 24 hours. Now, I personally would not wear it um, that long, but it definitely, first impression, it looks good on the skin i loved how lightweight and airy this is it does not feel heavy or cakey but i definitely notice a difference Alright y'all, so I'm just going in with the new Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring Blush in the shade Candy Clouds. So it looks like this is out of stock and online only on Sephora. I actually pick mine up in stores at Ulta. So definitely try them out. But overall, it is a very pretty blush. I have no complaints. It does give you that soft bubblegum look um, without being too overpowering. And this would be a perfect blush for me. On like my very light no makeup makeup days I wouldn't personally gravitate toward this if I'm doing a like full glam like all out beat type of look I do have other blushes for those moments as well all right you guys so that is it for today's video I feel like the skin looks good um, although I did use this to set the under eye and pretty much you know my t-zone i actually off camera went in with like a fluffier brush and set the rest of my face which i don't i was a little nervous about however i did do a flash test and there is no flash back so that's a good thing um again i will try to have it on the screen if i can find it basically what shade you would pick throughout the new um, powder based on your foundation shade i would try to have that on the screen for sure um, so that way you can use it as a reference if you did want to check this powder out the the face does not feel dry it does not look too powdery um I don't know it just looks good it looks good um my mother actually just came over and she's like your face your skin looks good i don't know what you use and i'm like okay is it the powder what is it is it a combo of everything so it's good to know that obviously i i feel like in theory anything that is part of the same line it is going to work together so it worked really well with the nars soft matte foundation um, I'm quite sure if you don't like the NARS soft matte, if you like the natural light or the radiant one, I'm quite sure it'll all work the same. Um, and again, it worked well. There's no clinginess or anything on the under eyes with me using it with the concealer. So first impressions, this gets a 10 out of 10 for me. This is definitely something that I will continue to use um, because I love how easy and compact this is as well. This is definitely something on the go. I feel like if you need to touch up, if you do get oily, this will be a great powder for you to use. Again, it does not feel drying. Like it doesn't feel dry or heavy on the skin. So... I think with how thin and lightweight this is, I do feel like this would be good for even dry skin tones. Um, 
if you're just using it to set like your under eyes but I definitely would recommend for drier skin to obviously really prep your your skin as far as like your moisturizer hydrating foundation before going in with that powder but overall again like I said 10 out of 10 first impressions I will leave an update in the description box on how this wears throughout the day um, I do have some errands to run I have to take my son to the dentist in about two hours so I would definitely keep you guys updated of course I'm gonna have to wear a mask in there as well so yes I will let you know but that is it you guys for today's video thank you so very much for tuning in and let me know as well what what some upcoming videos you guys would like to see I keep saying that I want to vlog I told my husband I wanted to vlog in camera but my life is just pretty it's boring it's very routine like yeah so definitely let me know um what are some other videos you guys want to see or if you just want me to stick to like first impressions with makeup again that's it y'all i love you all stay safe be blessed and i'll see you in the next one